Hey guys, welcome back, and this one is going to be another movie review for you guys, and uh, today um, I decided to do a review on this particular movie. This came out a couple months ago, and, and I'm probably one of the last uh, people to review this movie, but that's okay. Um, so, what I'm going to be talking about today is the new uh, Jackie Chan movie called Hidden Strike. It's with uh, Jackie Chan and WWE superstar John Cena, and... Basically, what the movie's about is basically two uh, service soldiers uh, basically are um, saving like a group of people from this uh, oil war that's happening. So they basically have to uh, um, escort them along um, in Baghdad, and they have to uh, bring them to a safety spot known as the Green Zone. And also, um, as they're doing that, they're also trying to make an end to the oil war. And that's basically the whole movie. And I first heard about this back in 2018, um, that this movie was going on. Um, they didn't have a hidden strike back then. It was called, like, uh, Project X Tradition. And, like, there's also, that's also what it's also called. And, like, at some point it was called, like, Snafu or you know, ex-Baghdad or something, like, they, they kept changing the title, but they finally got it to uh, Hidden Strike, and it's not released theatrically, this was actually a Netflix original movie uh, for here in the States, and um, it's getting a lot of uh, flack for it, and I don't think it deserves that, like, I think it's a really good movie, and um, let's see, who directed this one? Um... The director is um, Scott Waugh, I think that's how you pronounce it. It's uh, W-A-U-G-H, I think it's Waugh, I think that's how you pronounce it. I might have gotten that wrong, so I apologize if I have, but um, yeah, and John Cena, a lot of people hate him, and I understand that, you know, because of what happened with uh, the uh, uh, Bella Twins and... Uh, well, not the Bell. Oh, well, yeah, N Nikki Bella, rather not like the twins themselves, but like Nikki Bella. Stuff didn't work out with her. You know, I can see why people would not like him. And the Diva Show, I heard he was a real jerk on that show. I never personally watched it, but you know, but he's a good actor, though. I I'll give him that. Um, and I like John Cena. Um, I've heard some not so great things about him, and same with Jackie Chan too. I haven't heard very good things about him, but I still like him, regardless. Um, usually, I separate um, the star from the real person, and you know, like that's just you know what it is with me. And the movie kept getting um, like they always said that. Um, well, they said in the past, like, not always said, but they said in the past that it wasn't likely ever going to be released. And it was one of those titles that they just, you know, shelved for, for whatever reason. I don't think there was ever a reason as to why. Um, but, yeah, it was just one of those that was just shelved and, like, never, it was, didn't ever come out until recently. And I was actually thinking that, well, you know, since they say it might not ever come out, that might not be entirely true. Because, you know, I mean, who doesn't like Jackie Chan or John Cena? So, I mean, you know, it is what it is with that. And, yeah, the movie's, uh, it's like an action-adventure. It has, like, it's mixed with uh, comedy and action. And Jackie Chan, you know, he's the man when it comes to action comedy. And uh, John Cena's very good with his comedy. And I think that they did very well together. And, I mean, it's not going to top, you know, Chris Tucker or Jackie Chan. Like, there's no way that they can, um, you know, top that. But for as, like, a movie itself, um, I thought that it did very well. And uh, this, uh, and also, you know, Jackie's one of the producers for it. And, you know, it's both in Mandarin and in, and in English. Um, and, uh... Most of it is in English, but there are some scenes where it's uh, Mandarin, um, and with uh, subtitles that are burned in, you know, non-removable, which is nice, and 
Uh, they haven't released this on DVD. I mean, I have seen, like, DVDs on sale online, but I think those are, like, fake bootleg copies, so be aware of that. Um, but I don't think there's um, a plan for, you know, hopefully there will be a plan on releasing it on DVD because I like to add it to my collection of Jackie Chan films. Because I, co I, I collect Jackie Chan films, for those who are new to the channel. I have, like, almost every movie he's been in. Um, not every single one, but pretty damn close. But, you know, and, like, the acting is good, like, the others, um are very good like the others are very aren't very known i mean like you have that one kid that's from karate kid he was the main bully uh and uh zen wei wong i think that's how you pronounce his name uh, he was uh chang in uh, the karate kid remake with jackie chan so and he's a lot older now so you might not recognize him but i mean i did i at first didn't really recognize him but um like, looking at his picture, like, online after watching the movie, um, you know, I could definitely tell, but at the time of watching it, like, I couldn't really tell, but, you know, and it's also, like, a good, uh, you know, Jackie has, like, uh, more, like, so, sort of, like, I mean, it's still, like, comedy, um, action-like, but there's also, like, a serious side to Jackie's character, like, he's also, like, a disgraced, uh, um, absentee father and everything, and, and seeing that, seeing him play roles like that is very interesting because, um, you know, mostly he's known for, like, silly, goofy stuff, but it's nice to have him, um, jump out of his comfort zone and stuff like that and the action sequences are amazing you know the stunts the fights i mean jackie's still you know he's still getting the job done you know not obviously super crazy as where he was almost getting himself killed but you know he's still doing a great job in this particular movie and you know Jackie's a badass, John Cena's a badass in this movie, and it's really funny, a lot of a lot of fun to watch, and if you're looking for a nice hard-hitting action type movie, or, um, you know, you want a good laugh, uh, you definitely want to check this one out, stick around for the outtakes at the end, um, the outtakes are pretty funny, and, you know... Like, a lot of the CGI is very good, too. I know a lot of people hate CGI when it comes to Jackie Chan's movies because they say, you know, well, Jackie Chan's, you know, he does hard, he does it hardcore and there's no CGI. Well, I mean, nowadays, you know, like, he's getting older now. I mean, he's creeping up the 70s, so, I mean, it is what it is with that, so. But, yeah, uh, I really enjoyed this movie. It was definitely worth the wait, um... You know, I've been waiting on it since 2018, and I was really impressed with it. So I think it's well worth the wait. Um, if you guys saw it, let me know in the comments section below. And do you want this movie to have a Blu-ray and DVD release? I know I sure do. And uh, let me know, and you can watch it on Netflix. And uh, definitely give it a watch if you're a Jackie Chan fan or a John Cena fan. And uh, let me know uh, in the comments section, you know, what's your favorite, you know, recent Jackie Chan movie or older Jackie Chan movie movie whatever it is let me know in the comments and i'd love to hear from you guys and thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one